Joker Pac-Man. So the moment that Joker came out, I remember seeing tweets from Shion saying, hey, you know what, like, uh, Joker, I'm, I'm really trying to pick up this character, a hard key. Yep. I really want to main him, really want to play him. We're probably going to try to stick uh, with Joker uh, for at least this entire tournament, if anything. But there we go, Pelka already putting my man to sleep and laying down the grenade trap, racking up some easy damage. Meanwhile, on the other side, we have Raffi uh, trying to aggress toward Kiwi, but Kiwi doing a pretty good job controlling yep. the stage with that Hydra and, of course, that fruit. Yeah, this is uh, this is definitely gonna be a lot of uh, this is a, a projectile-based game indeed, with all of Pac-Man's projectiles, uh, Rob's gyro laser, and all of the bombs from uh, Snake. So this is definitely gonna be a lot of uh, a lot of item play here. And I'm gonna be interested to see it, especially for doubles. And here's the other thing as well. You know, you'll see players like let's say Esam, MV, they team together with Pikachu uh, and Snake. Right, you're always going to see uh, that Snake can just go ahead in this scenario, uh, walk up to Rafi, put a C4 on him, and then you can just kind of pass it along. Now, granted, yeah. in this case, uh, you know, for ECM and MVD, ECM would just quick attack into the enemy and somebody would get it. Uh, you know, it was a lot easier to pass it along, but it's still an option that the red team has for trying to go ahead and uh, run that C4 strat. Yeah, this is definitely. Oh, he just hits him. What was that, up tilt? That yeah. was up tilt. He just reacted yeah, to the roll in. Yeah, sends him right out of there. Later. Yeah, he gets him right out of, the, right out of his face. And uh, Red Team actually has a fairly good lead right now, two socks. Uh, and F Smash, yep, just going to take his first sock. And uh, Rafi right now, he's sitting, he's sitting pretty thick, trying to just not get hit by anything stray. And doesn't want to, he, he's trying to hold on to his sock as much as he can. Because at this point, he knows any stray hit he gets. Yeah, there he I goes. Mean, listen, you saw how quick that move came out too, right? Yeah. That Joker back air is actually like, it's a pretty good move. It's definitely like pretty good for edge guarding. And then when he gets Arsene, it's just way better. It just becomes ridiculous, yeah. yeah. Back of your head. Super good. Here we go. Up tilt into the up air. Up All right, air. another. Clean. I think conversion from Rafi just getting this guaranteed damage and not trying to extend uh, more than he needs to. Yeah. But I do like Scion's aggression on a Rafi here. And he tries to go for the off stage. Oh, he tried it. Hey, huh? <laughs> he oh, went no. for it. Oh, uh, that's going to be the stock from, uh, yeah. That's just super unlucky. He, he was able to recover with Arsene, but then he got caught right near, like, right near the, the, the right. bottom ceiling on the ledge. So that's just super unlucky. Uh, and now Kiwi also at 130 uh, at a super high percent. This is a scary spot to be in. But she, she's going for the fair F smash tech chases on Pelka. Yep, down throw uh, F tilt. Just super good. There we go, man. Just get the a haul onto Raffi X right there. going to be racking up that residual damage, that damage over time. Yep. Uh, kind of like a, a Warlock in World of Warcraft. You use Immolate and start burning for a minute. But here we go. I mean, it's, it's looking pretty solid for the red team right now. They have a clean uh, stock lead That's it. as well. Stock, yeah. And uh, now it's all up to a lone Kiwi here yeah. to try and do the impossible. She's going to go ahead and clean up. Uh, her kicks off to Pelka, but that's not going to be enough. It needs to get more back air, just not quite enough uh, KO power on these aerials from Pac Man. They need to find that key or uh, maybe a, a bell yeah, into a smash attack. It's just a super hard position because she, she as Pac Man, who doesn't do like a lot of knockback on too many moves, has to play versus two of the longest living characters, Snake and Rob, who both have super good recoveries mm. to just be able to make it back from pretty much anywhere. And it's just hard. She has, to, she has to play super defensively here. No kill off the hydrant. Yeah, down throw. Yeah, shot the up smash and then down throw to catch uh, to catch Bagman there. And you can see how impressive that was as well. We saw Kiwi. She was getting hunted down by the Nikita. Right, the guy didn't missile. She's like, oh crap, this Nikita's gonna hit me. Yeah. I don't want to get hit by it. So we see her uh, first. She goes for the hydrant. Right, every time you hit Nikita, all right, it will no longer have an active hitbox for one second upon being hit. So yeah. she managed to extend. It's like, all right, I won't get hit this time. Then she down aired on the way down and say, all right, let me hit it again so I can get past it and still not get hit by the Nikita. But then Pucko's like, you know what? I'm just gonna up smash and yeah, then I'm grab. It. It's like there's too it. many options being covered there. Kiwi actually yeah. played that immaculately. She was playing very smart, but just so much coverage coming by both members of the opposing team that she was unable to really get back to the stage. So very smart play uh, from Pelka and Rafi X to go ahead and close out that game one. There's just so much item play that, like, Pelka, Pelka and uh, Rafi are just, they, they know their character super well. So they know how to play around items. They know how, what items are going to be Kiwis, what, what items of Kiwis are going to be there. And it's just, they're able to hold it down super nice for game one. And now going into game two, uh, I don't think we're going to see a switch. We might see a switch from Zion, but... No, everyone's staying the same character. We're gonna see uh, the Joker going into game two on town this time around. A bigger stage with more rooms to play around on. That also allows for Pelka and Raffi to live significantly longer. So I'm not sure if, I'm not sure how much I agree with this pick, but maybe it could work out for them. 
Yeah, I mean, just even looking at the stage that they banned, they did end up banning Mitch's, uh story, melee, and then they did... Uh, Mitch's story and FD, which are two, two of the smaller stages. FD doesn't have any platforms to play around with, but its blast zones are just much smaller in this game compared to Smash 4. So getting rid of those stages, definitely a smart play. Looks like they just want that space. We're going to see how it works out for them, though, because we were mentioning before, uh, you know, their opposition can live longer, but I feel like Kiwi may just be a little bit claustrophobic. They'd like to have a little bit more space to run around. Ooh, and, oh, wow. He's able, what was that? Joker or send back air? That was I, I really smart. So, yeah. Oh, down throw. Has checked it? No, that was a, that was a nice get up. Because if he rolled any other way or didn't roll at all, he was just dead. He was C4 behind him, had the up tilt, had the F tilt. But, uh, right now, the yellow team's actually up right now. Yeah, yellow team's actually pretty up right now. Uh, and Kiwi doesn't have too much percent on her, which is super a good position to be. But Hero, uh, not Hero, Zion lost his stock for it. So, back to you. Yeah, I know, right? It's kind of yeah. moments like that that really make or break the game. And Pelka, you know, at 140, uh, which isn't like a crazy percent to see a snake at. Uh, but you do want to be killing him fairly soon. And how do you find that KO? And we're going to see time and time again, especially from Pelka and really just any snake player, their usage of dash attack as anti-air is very hard to deal with uh, if you're coming down from above. And it's been stuffing a lot of the approaches from both Kiwi and Sion. Yeah, this is a... Uh... They just have like a lot of the options to be able to wall them out, and I, it, there's a bit of adaptation in this game. Honestly, I'm seeing a there's a bit of a character differentiating from last game. They're making it work, but they're still down fair about. Uh, they definitely have to get the stock off the of Pelican right now, and going to town, it's just gonna be harder. You need to sit the ledge and throw bombs over and over, and re grab ledge. Yeah, he's just not moving the ledge too much. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and try. almost died with own grenade. Right, I mean. At he was just alone there. Do you even care? Like, oh my oh, goodness. Oh, he killed her at 79. Full rage, though, on Pelka. Yeah. So you know that's going to hurt. Yeah, this is definitely a rough spot for Yellow Team right now. They are up, but now it's down five stocks to two. And, you know, they're going to be able to equalize that. Arsene. Maybe he can make this work and take a stock. I know with Arsene, he, he gets a kill throw. I'm not positive which one, but yeah, he's able to get the first stock off of Pelka and get and get Rafi stock. This is. Still doable, but he has, to, he has to make quick use of this arson here. And I don't know if it's oh, gonna work in. out. Down air trying to spike Kiwi. Kiwi to be able to avoid it with the trampoline. Yep. But, you know, Arson uh, on to Zion here. He used to try to rack up damage, but Persona is now yep. gone. I would like to see from Zion because when you use the when you use his counter without having Arsen, every time you take a hit, it builds up the Arsene, and if he right. just uses it for, like, grenades that are in front of him, he'll build it up super quick. Like, now he's back to having Arsene, but now it's a 2v1. And it's just, this is a scary spot for him to be in, because now, now he has Arsene, which makes his recovery a bit more edge guardable. Yep, the C4 drop, gonna be a 2-0 coming out from Pelka and Rafi over Zion and Kiwi. Yeah, Pelka and Rafi really didn't seem like they were struggling at all that match. They kind of uh, held their ground, uh, did a really good job, stuck to their game plan, right? It really yep. seemed like Pelka crisp with the anti-airs, the offstage game, immaculate, and his ability to call out jumps as well was also on point. See people trying to jump, it's like, oh, caught that with an up air, caught that with a full yep. hop, double jump, neutral air, was able to catch people trying to move out of shield ever so often. And Rafi, on the other hand, did an amazing job just kind of uh, I wouldn't say he, he pressed advantage super aggressively. Just kind of held his corner, as Rafi kind of does, throwing out that nair, throwing out uh, those, those lasers, uh, and then just going off stage when needed to add that little bit of added pressure. You know, we're just going to go for the... Uh, they just knew. The they, 